Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy Kremes for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury here on the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I'm making this video a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Submarina. Submarina 41 mil. Guys, we're in a transition. Wristwatches, you'd buy, if you were lucky, you could get one of these. You'd buy it and prices just went up, 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 up. I got a 41 mil <clears throat> Submarina. This is the box papers. The new, the new, the new model came out, what, well, came out in 2019. With the 41 mil case. They ditched the maxi for this one. Prices went as high as 20, this is Aussie dollars, because I'm in Australia, $28,000. Well, guess what? One just sold a week ago for under 20 Aussie. That's right, guys. You've seen big fall. Big fall. Big fall. And the question is, guys, 30% fall. Can you believe it, man? It's big. It's massive. Well, what are we going to do as men folk? What are we going to do? Do we keep buying these things? Do we stop buying? What do we do? So, guys, what's happening is, well, you know, we've, we're in a really interesting world situation. We got COVID. We got the war in Ukraine. We got, more importantly, financial terms. We got some real bullshit happening. I mean, I don't want to get involved in geopolitical disasters. We got interest rates. They're rising. They're creeping up. We got inflation. Inflation. Over 10%. This is the official rate. Can you imagine what the unofficial is? And we got economy seems weird. In Australia, where I live, it's very hard to get employees. Staff are difficult to acquire. Um, cost of living, we've got creep, supply chain issues. <clears throat> very, very turbulent times. Wrist watches, well, you know what? Wrist watches were tied in many ways to the crypto markets. When the crypto collapsed, guess what? Wristwatches suffered a fate. Now, the way to look at it is crypto investors were using wristwatches as gold bullion. They were using this as a safe physical asset to own because as much as these crypto mumbo jumbo spruikers, they want some physical shit wristwatches was the fit now what do we do now what do we do well guys you know what <clears throat> i'm not panicking i'm not panicking <clears throat> number one <coughs> panic's not gonna solve any problems number two it's very likely the market will recover and number three there are still some solid stocks to buy. For every crash, there are bargains to pick off the floor. You've just got to be careful. Now, I've got to tell you, we like to copy. When it is boom times, we all want to buy. When it's doom times, we all want to sell. 
And that can be problematic because you end up paying too much and you sell too low. So I got to be totally honest with you. Wristwatches to me, they were a passion. They were more than just watches. They were a way of life. They were my existence. Luxury wristwatches. So what I say to people is I say, look, don't get so upset. Calm down. If you've, you've got to manage your situation, everyone's situation is different. If you were totally maxed out on the mortgage, totally your car is a fleece, you have no savings, well, savings is crypto and watches, you're highly leveraged, more gears, more leverage than a Mack truck, it's a problem. It's a big problem. And I got to tell you, you got to be sensible. See you later, Josh. Have a good day. It's a big problem. You got to be careful. This market is dangerous. It's dangerous. So, man, my advice is I still think watches are a great thing to have. They're still a great thing to have because as men folk, we got high chances of getting divorced. And watches are a great asset. We've also, you know, the market is turbulent. Well, it can't, nothing can keep rising, rising, rising. You've got to have some, 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 some ups and downs for it to be a proper market. I mean, Joe Kennedy said before the Great Depression, when the shoe shine boy, that's the guy polishing your shoes, is giving you stock tips, you know it's time to get out. And let's face it, in wristwatches, there were Bloomberg articles, CNN articles, there was MSN news. They were all spruiked. Watches, 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 watches. And this is the kind of the reality that it is. When it's too hot, it's too hot. Now, what does that mean? <coughs> what does it mean indeed? Well, we've just got new news that China's, China's, the market has gone bad there. They've got their own problems internally. They're not letting money out because they got a bit of a building Ponzi scheme. The building Ponzi scheme. They got some nasty shit happening, which, <coughs> hey, that's how all economies, all economies get nasty shit. Now, what does that mean to you as a watch lover, collector, enthusiast, enthusiast, enthusiasta? Well, just calm down. Just calm down. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Just calm down. My honest advice is this. Okay, let, let me give you the honest juice. The honest juice. If you have money, okay, so if you have money to invest, what would I be doing now? So my answer would be, if you want to buy, if you've already got a couple of watches and you want to buy a next one, I'd probably be paying off <clears throat> consumer debt. Warren Buffet, Warren Buffet tells this great story and I think it's pretty clever. Warren Buffet has this lady who <coughs> came to him who won some money. Wasn't a big amount of money for Warren Buffet, but it was a big amount of money for this lady. And she says, Warren, Warren, I heard you're the best investor in the world. What do I do with it? <clears throat> and Warren immediately said, hey, do you have a credit card? Do you owe a balance? She goes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Warren says, well, <laughs> the first thing I would do is pay off your credit card. You're paying 18% interest on that. I can't make 18% interest year after year. And then the lady said, oh, I want to put, some, put a bit of money into savings for my children. And he said, hey, 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 why don't you, 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 you um, get your children that money, pay off your credit card, and then pay them 18% on that. He said, if you can get 18% a year, even I can't get that. And that's the whole thing. The best thing you can do, you don't need to be Warren Buffet, but 
get rid of consumer debt. If you've got credit cards, if you've got personal loans, you've got lines of credit, maybe reduce a bit. <clears throat> what happens if you've already got a few watches? Well, for example, me. You know what? I was never a hype investor. I always bought things I like. I liked, this is what I liked, gold Patex, precious metal Patex on a leather strap, and I wanted circular, okay? Circular, circle like a Calatrava, circle like a oyster type case. I like circular cases. That's, that's what, and I've got four circular, precious, well, all of mine are gold on a leather strap. That's my genre. Now, they were never the hyped ones. The Aquanaut, the Nautilus, they were the hyped ones. So, they have suffered. Everything has suffered, but you know what? They haven't had the massive falls because they haven't had the massive gains. In some media reports are saying they haven't had any falls at all, which I think is bullshit because I think everything has fallen. From Richard Millais, if you don't believe Richard Millais have fallen, you've got delusional rocks in your head. Uh, so I never bought the hypey stuff. My Rolexes, my roll eyes, I got four roll eyes. Sky Dweller, White Dial, Explorer 2, Subdate, Steel, and a Mill Gauss. <clears throat> they, okay, you could argue the Sky Dweller and the Submarina were hypey. They were a bit hypey, yeah, but I didn't have the Sermit. They weren't the super hype models. I didn't have the Blue Dial Sky Dweller. I had the White Dial, because I. Actually, that was a gift, and I, quite frankly, I, got, I actually like the white. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with the black or the blue. <laughs> but i got to tell you, they were... You see, this is the whole thing. I always did things that I liked. When I wanted a Submariner, I actually liked the black black. I like that. It's a classic, elegant... Now, I should have liked the servant, <laughs> but you understand. So, in my case, okay, what's the answer to me? What, what do I need to do? Well, I got to be honest with you. I got a bit of consumer debt. You know what? If I got extra money coming, get rid of that consumer debt. Get rid of the consumer debt. Yes. And, you know, we all do dumb things. In my case there, I went and leased a fully optioned 3 Series BMW, which is pretty expensive in my country. Pretty damn <clears throat> expensive. Very damn expensive. And you know what? You know what? Thousand bucks a month. You know what? If you've got one of these three these BMWs and it's coming to the end of the lease, instead of just picking up a new one, you might be saying, you know, maybe, <coughs> maybe I'll pay this one out, keep it a little bit longer. <coughs> maybe I'll go down in car because we don't really need expensive car payments when economy's not looking beautiful, okay? So, in my case, I just entered the dance. I'm at the front of the lease, the fleece. I'm six months in. You know what? I do enjoy it. I love my fleece. I love my fleece. But I'm going to be careful. So, I'm not going to do silly things. But I'm not going to continue spending like the drunken sailor I did in the past. Same with watches. Buy a little bit. I'm looking for bargains. I'm not looking for super duper ones. You know what I mean, guys. We're in difficult times. So, that is where we are. So don't panic. Ride the storm out. If you've got a few watches, it's okay. And don't tell the wife. Don't tell the wife. I'm Archie Luxury. I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. And today, guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury father.time.luxury.watches father.time.luxury.watches this guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches have a look here look at this very very nice display of watches 
and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go guys check out father.time.luxury.watches father time luxury watches check it out guys you will love it hey guys Archie luxury on the YouTube sensation the Paul Pluto channel guys I need you to help me out guys I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.